Hi everybody, Taijin and Taizo here, and today I'm going to show you how to insert an equation into Microsoft Word 2007, from which you can copy into Microsoft Excel 2007, so you can display what you're doing on your homework or whatever else you are doing. What I'm going to show you is how to insert the Uniform Series Present Worth Equation. As you can see, it's a little bit complicated. We have a function to the power here, and a function to the power in the denominator also. So let me show you how to do that. <clears throat> so what you want to do is go to Microsoft Word and it defaults to the Home tab. You want to go to the Insert tab. And then over on the right side you have the button Equation. Click on that and you have all these new buttons on the top to insert different functions. And this is where all the work is going to be done. So we're going to start by inserting the Uniform Series Present Worth Equation. So we're just going to do P is equal to, because we're looking for the present worth, and because we have those two exponents in the numerator and denominator, we want to get a fraction. And you want to get one with the boxes, because if you do these, you cannot insert your own, your own numbers. So you want to get the boxes, and then each of those boxes, we want to be able to get an exponent. So you want to click on script, and you want to get a, get a superscript, you can get a subscript, you can get both. So we want the superscript, and we're going to do that for both the top and the bottom. Then you can use the arrows to move around to whatever box you want to insert your function. So we're going to open parentheses, do 1 plus i, close the parentheses, hit the right arrow to put the exponent in, hit the right arrow again to put the minus 1. Then we're going to hit the down arrow and the left arrow to move into the bottom leftmost box, and we're going to do i, open parentheses, 1 plus i, close the parentheses, and then we're going to put in another superscript. So there we have our uniform series equation. That's great. We don't want to have to put it in every single time we want to use it. So what we're going to do is click on this little arrow right here and save as a new equation. So what I like to do is name them so that I remember so that I know exactly what I'm looking for and it's a lot easier to get. So this is uniform, put a little dash there, series, and I'm just going to put present worth. And then you want it under equations and then for category you can make your own. I already made one economy but you can just create your own category so you so it's easier to categorize where they're saved. So click Economy, and then click OK. And voila, there it is saved. Let's, um, let's get rid of this so I can show you guys that it is saved. So if you want to use it again, go to Insert, go to Equations, but instead of clicking on the tab, go to the little right arrow, the down arrow, I'm sorry, and then scroll down. As you can see, there's a bunch of different functions saved already, or categories saved. But if you go down to the bottom here, you see economy. And these are ones I already put in. And what do we just put in? The uniform series present worth. So look, if you click on that, there you have your equation saved nice and pretty. So to move that to Excel, you just you either hover over it and click everything. Or if you just go over it like this, let's just do this. And you'll copy and then go down and open up Microsoft Excel. See, I already have a function in there. And you just hit Control V, and it's going to copy it over as a picture. So there you have it. If you want to move it, you just grab a hold of it and move it around. There you go, guys. I hope that helped. I know a lot of people have problems with that. But really, it's not that hard. You just got to poke around a little bit, and you can really get what you want. I hope that helped you guys. Have a nice day.